This video is a Ledger Nano S setup guide, which is this device right here. I'm gonna show you how to set it up with Ledger Live, which is the software that you need to set it up with so that you can get everything set up, including your wallet addresses and your recovery phrase, which is really important. And then how to get crypto on and off the device when you want as well. I'll leave timestamps for everything down in the description below. If you have a Nano S Plus already, then it should come with a wire to connect the device to your computer. That's USB-C to USB-A. And then there should be some recovery cards in there, which let you write down your recovery phrase. Just make sure that this is not compromised. If there's writing on here, or if the device is set up already, that's a big red flag. That means it's been tampered with. So everything should be fresh. And I'll leave a link to the official Ledger store in the description. They do send worldwide, and I'd recommend getting it from the official store because you don't want anything to be compromised with your device. If someone else sets it up before you, then they'll have access to that wallet and all of the crypto on there. So make sure you're getting it from the official store. At this point, you need to go and download Ledger Live, which is the software that you need to set up your device. Now, the Ledger Nano S actually doesn't have a battery, and so it only works when you plug it into your computer with Ledger Live. So go and download that software. I'll leave links to Ledger down in the description. And once it's set up, you just plug in your Ledger Nano S Plus, and it should start up automatically. If you haven't done it before, then it will go through the initial stages. Just use the buttons on the top to scroll left and right, and you have two options, either starting a brand new device, or you can reload a previous wallet. Just choose one of those, and then it will go through setting up the device. Firstly though, you'll need to set up your pin number. So just scroll through and select a pin, and then when you're done, just click the tick and it will move through. You don't need eight numbers, you can have four if you want. If you're using Ledger Live now, it'll go and prompt you to set up your recovery phrase. This is without a doubt the most important part of the setup. This device itself, the Nano S or any other hardware wallet isn't actually that important. If this gets damaged or lost, you can set up your previous wallet on a new device, but you need the recovery phrase. Also, if anyone else has your recovery phrase, they have access to your wallet and everything in there. So this is without a doubt the most important thing to set up to make sure that you keep this recovery phrase safe and let no one else see it. Ledger do give you a recovery card here, but to be honest, this is just not good enough. You're gonna need a better place to actually save this because this is way more important than the device. Now, Ledger actually have these metal wallets as well, which a lot of people use. These are really uh, great. What you can do is actually etch your recovery phrase into steel, and so it won't get damaged and it will last forever, and you can hide these pretty easy. So there are some options here. I'll leave the link uh, below to the Ledger store where you can basically get it along with your Nano S, but. This is much more uh, robust than just writing it down on a bit of paper. Like I said, if you lose this phrase and your device breaks, then you won't be able to access your crypto. So the recovery phrase for me is without a doubt the most important thing. As you can see, the device will give you the words. So just write them down first and then it will test you on making sure that the words were written in the correct way. And once you've gone through that test, then it will let you into the device. It will create the new wallet and then you can start uh, getting different applications on your ledger. Once you have the device set up and your recovery phrase down, you can now use Ledger Live to actually get some crypto onto your device. So I'll show you how to do that. The first thing is make sure that your device is plugged in and come down to my ledger down at the bottom right here. You'll have to put in your pin number. So connect it to your computer, put in your pin number on the device, and then it will let you into my ledger. Now from here, you have to download what Ledger call apps. Apps are the first part of downloading the wallet to your device. So you can see here that there are many different blockchains that you need the application for. So you can just search for them here if you want Bitcoin or Ethereum, Binance, Smart Chain, Cardano. Um, the Ledger Nano S Plus actually supports around 5,500 coins, I believe. And so, you know, most of the top coins are gonna be supported. Come to the right hand side and just click install if it's not done already. Now the Ledger Nano S has decent um, storage as well. So you're gonna be able to store a lot of applications on here. If you wanna hold a coin, you need the application downloaded first. So just go ahead and install uh, the applications of all of the blockchains that you wanna use. Once you've downloaded the apps, you can now download the accounts. This is gonna give you the account on your ledger and let you send crypto to it as well. So once it's installed, go to add account right here. Um, now, if you're new, that will be your first account, but you can have many different accounts. So you can open different accounts or different wallet addresses on the same ledger device for each blockchain. Some blockchains don't allow that and some do. Um, so you can obviously see which ones do and don't right here. So you can press add account right here, or you can go up to the top left-hand corner and click on accounts. 
Um, and then this will be all of your accounts here. So you can see which accounts that you have and you can click in the top right, add account. So I'm just gonna click that right here and you can choose the crypto asset. So if you have these downloaded as applications or they're supported on those on the blockchains that you've downloaded, click the asset that you want. So if you want Bitcoin, you want a new account there, just click Bitcoin and you can continue. You can see the asset right here is BTC. So the device right here, you just press continue and you have to confirm everything on your device. So you have to make sure that your pin is unlocked. You have to open the application that you've just downloaded. So on your Ledger Nano S Plus, what you should see is that there are applications there now that are supported and then you can just go and go into the application, make sure that it's linked up and then press continue and confirm it on your device and then go through and set up that account. That account when it is set up will come up here into your accounts now so you can see that for each um, crypto asset that you want an account for, it should be here for you. Now that we have addresses set up on our ledger, we can actually get crypto onto it. So I'll show you how to do that now. Go to Ledger Live and click Receive right here and then choose the asset that you wanna receive. Now you have to make sure that your device is plugged in and make sure that it's unlocked. And what we can do here is just choose what crypto we wanna receive. Now, if you're using a smart contract blockchain or you have an asset that isn't supported right here, what you can do is just press, for example, Ethereum right here. So if you have US dollar tether or some other asset that you want and you know it's on Ethereum, just choose Ethereum here and it will give you your Ethereum address and that's what you use to send those assets. Some assets are not supported in Ledger Live, so you won't be able to see them, but they will be on your wallet if the blockchain supports them, of course. You can go to something like Etherscan and actually load up your Ledger wallet on Etherscan and see everything there as well. So even if something isn't supported in Ledger Live, you can send it to your wallet as long as the wallet is uh, supported on Ledger Live. So I hope that makes sense. But we're gonna just do Bitcoin here as, as an example. Make sure your device is unlocked and everything, press continue. Now what you'll see is your wallet address. You'll have to check your wallet address here. It will show you right here. Just check that it's the same as the address on your device. That means there's nothing strange that's gone on between the device um, and the Ledger Live. So if that's the same, then you can just copy the address right here. Now what you can do once you've copied that is go over to your exchange. I use Binance, so I'll show you here. Um, choose the coin that you wanna withdraw and then just paste the address in here. Now something that Ledger does is once you press copy, it hides the address, which is slightly annoying because then you can't check it side by side. So what you might wanna do instead of pressing continue in the Ledger Live, just copy it so the, the address is still there, paste it into your Binance or other exchange, and then you can see them side by side before accepting and pressing continue on Ledger Live. It doesn't make any difference on Ledger Live side, you just wanna check yourself that the address that you're pasting in here is the same as you've got on the Ledger Live. Then you just you know go and withdraw it from the exchange and that will go through to your Ledger. I'll leave some links to deposit bonuses for Binance and some of the other exchanges I use in the description if you want some you know, extra Extra bonuses just make a deposit and they give you a, a bonus in there so check those out if you want something important though to realize when you once you send crypto to your ledger device is obviously it needs to show up now like I said most tokens are supported and so you can see them right in your ledger if they aren't then go to the blockchain explorer what that you're using and you should be able to see them there just copy and paste your wallet address and it will show you everything um, that you have in your wallet even if you can't see it on ledger live so an important thing to note here is that even though you might not be able to see something in Ledger Live, it definitely is on the blockchain in your wallet if you sent it there. So for example, if we come to accounts, you can see all of the accounts that I have set up on this device. What you can do is click into one. So if I click into Bitcoin and I can actually go and change this around. So what I can do is edit the account and I can actually remove it from the portfolio. What that does is remove um, all of the tracking of this of this uh, account, for example, Bitcoin here. So you can't see it in your Ledger Live and it won't show up, but that is still there. You can reload it very easily by going to accounts and then reloading the, the Bitcoin app um, onto your device. It doesn't get rid of the coins. Everything is always on the blockchain. And so even if you can't see anything in Ledger or even if you remove an account, the coins will still be there as long as you haven't sent them off. Uh, of your wallet. So um, really important that you can see all of your um, accounts and all of your coins here. If you can't see any, it doesn't mean they're not there. You'll have to go to a wallet explorer. You can go online on Google, type for any you know wallet explorer for the blockchain that you're using, and then just copy and paste your wallet address that you've got, and you should be able to see all of your assets right there. If you wanna send cryptos out of your Ledger device to the exchange to trade them or somewhere else, you can do that really easily. Just go to send in Ledger Live 
and then choose the asset that you want to send right here. Go over to your exchange and get the wallet address that you want to deposit to and just paste it in right here. You'll have to have your ledger device plugged in uh, and open, so make sure it's open. You'll just confirm the amount that you want to send and then the, uh, the blockchain fee that it will cost. Because ledger uses the blockchain, you have to pay the blockchain fee when you send assets or do anything like that. And so it's always recommended that you keep a small amount of the base layer coin in the wallet just to pay for fees if you need to send something out. Ledger Portfolio can show you a really good overview of the assets that you have and the transactions that you've gone through. So I'll show you that now. Just go over to Portfolio here. You can see all of the assets on your account. Now, sometimes it doesn't do a great job of um, tallying up all of the assets that you have on smart contract chains. So for example, if you use DeFi, and you're lending out some Ethereum or you know USDT, then because that asset is actually locked up in the DeFi protocol, it's not gonna count it in your ledger portfolio, and so you can't see what your total balance is. Slightly frustrating, but it only gives you assets that you have in your ledger device, um, not on DeFi. Again, that changes from the blockchain as well, so you have to see if it does or doesn't count them with the blockchain that you're using, but you can see latest operations here. Now, a quite, a, quite a good trick is to go up to the settings right here and then go over to accounts, and then you can see export accounts right here. Now, with the Ledger Nano S Plus, it doesn't have Bluetooth, and so you can't link it up with your phone very well, but what you can do is download the Ledger Live app on your phone and um, link it up with this Ledger Live. And so you can see all of your assets, at least on your Ledger Live app, if you wanna do that. So go, come to accounts and export accounts. Just press export here. There'll be a QR code that you can scan on your phone. So if you wanna see all of your balances, you know, daily as the price moves on your phone, then you can still do that with Nano S Plus. But if you wanna use Bluetooth and actually use the Ledger Live app, with the Ledger device, then you'll need the Nano X for that because it has Bluetooth to link up to your phone. Now we're gonna link up our Nano S Plus with MetaMask. This enables you to use your Ledger for safety, but also interact with the blockchain and use you know, applications on there, which we all wanna do. So I'll show you how to do that now. If you wanna use decentralized finance, if you wanna use lending protocols, if you wanna use DEXs, then you're gonna need a soft wallet and you can very easily link that up with your Ledger. Now Ledger Live doesn't really do this, it's not what it's made for, and so you need a software wallet to do this. Now, if you're on an Ethereum-based chain, like Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, Avalanche, and many others, most people will use MetaMask. You can use many others like Coinbase Wallet as well, but just come up to the top right hand corner or the settings of your wallet, and then just click Connect Hardware Wallet right here. Choose the ledger and it's gonna go through. Now make sure your ledger is plugged in and open and the pin number is open. Just press continue and it should be able to link up. You might have to confirm it with your ledger device, but what this will do is import your ledger wallet address. So that's really important where you can actually have all of your assets on your ledger device, so that's much much safer, but when you want to interact with the blockchain, you will use your private keys that are stored on this device through MetaMask to actually sign transactions. So it's much easier like that. Now, there are other chains as well, for example, Cardano, it's much the same process. When you go into the Yoroi wallet or other wallets for um, Cardano, it will, sit, it will say to you, link hardware wallet. So like this one, connect to hardware wallet, and then you can choose the hardware wallet that you want to create. You all, all you have to do is just link up your wallet here because the application and the wallet should already be created on the ledger. So you just have to use these as a software that actually links up with applications. I'll leave some other helpful videos in the description for you regarding setting up with other wallets and using blockchains as well if you need that. Also the link to Ledger down in the description as well and the deposit bonuses. I'm James with MoneyZG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.